Let's take a look at your weather now with meteorologist Jim Duthie. Jim, are we done with these storms yet? No, not at all. Well, maybe it's not so much down here in the Treasure Valley, but the mountains will still be very active today. We have a slight chance for a thundershower possibly reaching the Treasure Valley, but it's getting drier and temperatures stay a little below average. Low 80s today, but look at the warm up as we head toward the weekend because we're going to dry out and see a warming trend pushing us up to the triple digits most likely by Saturday and Sunday, the hottest temperatures since the first week of September last year, so it's been a long time since we've seen heat like this. It eases off a little bit next week, but on through the 4th of July, we're still in the mid 90s. So right now it's mostly clear, a few scattered clouds along the foothills as the sun comes up over the top of the foothills now. 57 degrees currently, southeast winds at six miles per hour. And Storm Tracker shows that uh, the activity yesterday was mainly concentrated in eastern Oregon and up into the west central mountains where up to uh, eight tenths of an inch fell just north of McCall up around Seasash Summit and over around La Grande, a little over a half inch. Ontario, a half inch of rain in just a couple of hours. And a few isolated showers were threatening the Treasure Valley. But today, most of that activity will be over the central mountains uh, in the vicinity of that low pressure center and rotating around it into the uh, McCall Cascade area and into eastern Oregon, but much less of a threat the farther south you go toward the Treasure Valley, the Magic Valley, and down toward the Nevada border. As this low pressure gradually shifts eastward in the next 24 hours, high pressure builds in along the coast and that pushes drier air our way. So by tomorrow, really no threat of thunderstorms for the valley locations. A few isolated thunder showers will hang on in some of the mountain areas, but getting drier and warmer through the weekend even in the high country. So today, possibility of locally heavy rain in some mountain areas, mainly from around uh, the Boise front northward and east of the McCall area, although a few will drift over toward eastern Oregon and uh, isolated thunder showers possible toward Weezer, down into Gem County and maybe the lower Treasure Valley. It all dies down overnight. Tomorrow, much less of a threat everywhere except for the mountains, still looking at a slight chance. And then by Friday and into the weekend, dry even in the mountain areas. The forecast for the Magic Valley today calls for mostly sunny skies. Get a little bit of a westerly breeze coming in around that low pressure and high temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s around the Magic Valley. Upper 60s to near 70 in the central mountain areas. Stanley and Sun Valley may see some brief heavy showers this afternoon. Also over toward McCall, Donnelly and Cascade. Mid 60s today with the possibility of locally heavy rain with thunderstorms lasting into the evening. 76 degrees in Council near 80 in Riggins and a slight chance of a thunder shower toward Weezer and in the Emmett area and just an isolated threat for the rest of the Treasure Valley as high temperatures reach the low 80s with mainly mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. But don't discount an isolated thunder shower popping up. We'll see a little northwesterly breeze during the afternoon in the valley. Mountain areas mid 60s with a good chance of rain today and then less of a chance tomorrow. Warming up about 10 degrees by the weekend. Perfect camping weather. Highs in the low 80s during the day. Lows in the low 50s in the high country, while for the valley here, 82 degrees today, 88 and sunny tomorrow, 94 by Friday, and pushing 100 degrees Saturday and Sunday. Fourth of July looks pretty good, Justin, cooling off a little bit to the mid 90s and uh, looks pretty dry. Cooling off to the mid 90s, Jim. That's putting a positive spin on it. Appreciate it.